Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the Canva Pro for absolutely free. And this is completely legal as well. For those who don't know about Canva, Canva is a graphic design tool which is available at canva.com as you can see right here. And Canva has various levels of subscription. Now, let's go and have a look at the many that we have and tell you exactly how you can get the Canva Pro for absolutely free. Now, when you sign to Canva, you get this sort of display here looking like this. I'm on the Canva Pro presently, but I can still tell you exactly what you find on the Canva free version. Now, when you're on Canva right here, you go to plans and pricing, you can see that Canva has got the free, the pro, the teams, and many others. Okay, so let's begin with the free guys. So people know about the free version here, but how does it how does it differ from the pro version? I will tell you. So when you're using the Canva free, what you find is that when you go to a project, for example, let's go to my project, you see that there are some resources that are not available to those who are using Canva for free. For example, if we go to pictures, photos, this is an old thumbnail that I created myself, for my uh, channel. But let's go to pictures here. Looking here, you can see that everything here looks okay except that. On some pictures, you find this pro, this pro label right here. You can see the pro logo right here. This tells you that these are only available to accounts that have the pro subscription. And if you try to use it without the pro, what happens is that you'd have the Canva, the Canva sort of watermark on your thumbnail or on your design. And you don't want that happening, guys. So that's the reason why you would like to have the pro version of Canva, which is the reason I'm making this video currently. Okay, so how do we go about getting this? I'm going to share for uh, share to you guys. I'm going to share four methods of getting the Canva Pro. I'm going to advise you exactly how to go about this. The very first method you do, guys, is to if you go to the, the to Canva Home, you can see that you can get Canva Pro if you're a student. Okay, so let's go to Home and go to Plans and Pricing and go to Education right here. Okay, so if you go right here to Education. You can see that Canva is able to give you access to the pro version for absolutely free if you meet some criteria. For example, if you're a teacher, okay, you can say you can simply go here and say get verified, okay? And it opens up to this page for you. Right? So Canva is able to give for free, but before you do, Canva wants you to give them some details, okay? They're saying here claim Canva for education for free. Well, you need to make sure that you fill out these details right here. So tell Canva exactly what you're doing. You get started right here, and Canva tells you here, check your details. We didn't find any Yahoo.com in that list of institutions. So it says here, list your, um, enter your first name, last name, your, your school name. It tells you as well to enter your school website right here, and it's optional. So let's say we go ahead to enter. Let's say this is your name, and this is just like John. This is like um, John Banner, okay? And let's say your school name is Banner School, okay? For example, and then let's say this keep this because it's optional. I will put it continue. Come back to your this page. Tell me here that you need to upload a photo or document that shows that you have a teaching qualification and employment status, okay? So this is what you have to upload here. This is where you upload the file here. And then once Canva kind of verifies this, in about six to eight days, you're able to get your um, your Canva kind of profile absolutely free. And guys, this works and this is very legitimate, guys. But what if you're not a teacher? How do you go about this? If you're not a teacher, what you can do is simply, let's go to this page right here. And let's go back to the Canva homepage. Okay. So if you're not a teacher, what you can do is to go back to Canva here. And you can see that when you go to price and um plans and pricing, which is just above right here, plans and pricing, Canva also gives you the chance to sign up for Canva if you are a non-profit organization. Okay. So if you want to go there, you can do that as well. Go to non-profit, go right here, and you can see right here that Canva allows you to to uh, meet and um, to submit your document in order to get Canva Pro for free. But like we said, you have to submit documents and you need, and um, there's some requirements for you to meet. Okay. So 
For example, if you want to look more into what you're required to submit, or if you're eligible for it, you can click right here, it says eligibility guidelines, click right there, and lead you onto this page. On this page, guys, you can see the Canva list organizations that do not qualify for the Canva non-profit program. Okay, so if you're in this category, you don't qualify for Canva non-profit program, which means that under this category, you don't fit. It doesn't mean that you cannot qualify eventually, but it just means that you should find your category, but this is the wrong category for you. Okay, so guys, let's go down here. You can see that Canva tells you that these are organizations that do qualify for the Canva non-profit program, registered non-profits and all that. And then when you go down here, it tells you that these are the countries that are participating in it. When you click your country, it tells you the specific documentation that you should submit to prove that you're eligible for the Canva Pro version. Okay, so guys, when you're happy with all this, you can simply go forward and uh, submit the document that you, that you, that's required of you, and then you'll be fine to get the Canva Pro um, um, plan. So that's the next method, guys, that we just talked about. And then, I'm wondering, perhaps you're thinking education, what about students, right? That is correct. So if you go back to education, guys, you can see that even students too can also qualify. They can qualify for that, okay? So what happens is if you're a student, guys, you need to submit documents that proves that you, that you, um, you are eligible for it. Documents like, and you need to prove that you're a student by submitting your letter of, um, admission and also a valid ID card that shows that you are enrolled in a school. Okay guys, so let's go back to class of pricing and go to education right here. You can see right here, it says here teachers, we've done this one already. It says schools, you guys go to contact us. No, sorry, here it says students, right? Students. Let's go right here and you can see that you actually able to submit to show that, you know, that Canva, to show Canva that you're a student and then once you qualify for this, guys, Canva is able to process documents and also grant you uh, access to Canva Pro. That's how it works for Canva Pro, um, being a student. Okay. So yeah, if you, if you're looking to join this, guys, make sure that you fall into one of these categories. If you want to join it legitimately and another method you can do, actually, you can use rather to join Canva uh, and to get the Canva Pro is by, is by going for the free okay let's say you go back to canva pro sorry the canva homepage. you can actually sign up here and normally when you sign up with canva pro they give you like um a free trial of about 30 days so within that time you're not charged anything but canva requires that you put in you put in your your card your uh your bank card so that they can charge you at the end of the trial period so what happens, guys, is if you don't really use Canva actively, you have no need to subscribe to all this Canva Pro and keep paying monthly. So I would advise you that maybe you should go for the Pro version, but you should be on the trial. So when you use Canva for 30 days, which, which is completely free, you can decide to sign out or rather you can decide to, to stop your subscription, you cancel out, and then you'll not be charged any money at all at the end of your subscription. But if you keep it, your card, then you'll be charged. So you enter your card, enjoy 30 days, after which you are free to walk away without being charged on Canva. That's one way you can go about it, guys. But the problem with that method is, what happens is, you can see right here, I've got many designs here, many designs here. And what happens is, if I keep changing my accounts, my emails and all that, because I'm enjoying the Canva 30 days free trial, I'll be losing my designs. So... When I come back to my new account, I wouldn't have all of these designs saved right here. And this really helps someone like me because I have um, thumbnails right here that I've saved right here. And I can use this thumbnail as a background or sort of like a, a, a continuation or a foundation rather for my new thumbnail. I have many designs right here, which are really helpful to me. So that's one thing that you get to miss when you enjoy the 30 day free trial and you walk away from Canva and get a new account. So that's one advantage of doing that, guys. And then the final method, guys, of getting the final, of getting the um, Canva, Canva Pro um, plan is by using Teams. And how do you use Teams in Canva? Let's go back to home, guys. And then let me show you how you can use the Teams on Canva. If you go right here and you go to the plans and pricing, you can see that 
Canva has free pro teams right here. On these teams here, what happens is a lot of people here, they, they have teams, large teams that are subscribed from Canva and they now share their links for people to join their teams and use Canva. So what happens is that you don't have to sign up for this team direct, directly from here. What you do is you go online and you can simply look for, you can look for, um, Canva, Canva Pro Teams link. If you type this, guys, you can see that there are so many, so many people out there. This one has shared a Canva Pro Team link invite, for example. So you go right here and then you look for the team, the, the link for the team. And that takes you to this, for example. Now, this guy is saying right here that he shared it. He shared the link to Canva Pro. There you go. This is the link for that, that invites you to join the team. So if you're happy with that, guys, you can click right here and join the team. But the problem here is that every team has a capacity. So what happens is that sometimes you, the capacity goes beyond, beyond limits. And then beyond that, you, you're unable to join the team. So except if somebody goes out of the team, leaves the team, before you can join a team. So that's what how it works, guys. It doesn't go be, you cannot join the team beyond the capacity it carries. So that's the, that's the sort of disadvantage of joining teams or trying to use the link to join a team like this. So that's what you find, guys. And that's how you can subscribe for the um, Canva and enjoy the pro version without any hassles. These, all these are very legal to use. So don't worry about it. You will not get blocked and you're not having any problems using all these methods, guys. So guys, that's in a nutshell how to use Canva or how to get the Canva Pro plan um, for absolutely free. And I hope it was helpful, guys. On this channel, guys, I make a lot of videos on how to use tech. And I hope it was helpful. Please leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye.